Hi, Patricia here. Um, today I am making peach jam. So um, I got a box full of peaches here. Um, so I'm, I've made already um, one batch of jam and now I'm ready to make the other batch of jam. But let me just fill you in on what I did. So you You'll see um, <clears throat> when Roland edits this video, what I do with the peaches is I boil water and then I put the peaches in the boiling water for about one minute, take them out, and then they're ready easily to peel. So you peel them up and then cut them off the pit. And then you, um, and I like to use like a small uh, flat bowl like this and put them in and it's easy, easy to actually um, crush them there for getting ready for the jam. So I am using uh, Bernardin, no sugar needed pectin. However, in jam, you do want to have some sweetener, but I don't want all that sugar that you'd get with jam. And that's why there doesn't seem to be a lot of jam made from one recipe. But uh, anyways, it, uh, so this recipe, it takes one recipe, takes four cups of crushed peaches one cup of unsweetened apple juice, um, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one package of the, um, the pectin from Bernardin, and then you can add sweetener. So you can add, um, you can add granulated sugar, you can add Splenda, or you can add some honey. So in this one, I added about two spoonfuls of honey and I found that was enough sweetness for this peach jam because peaches are generally, um, uh, peaches are generally sweet. So now what I'm gonna do, so I've crushed um, these peaches. And I've added all the ingredients and now what happens is I put it to boil and it will go <clears throat> it will boil for about you have to boil it and then when it's a hard boil like it, it you're stirring it and it cannot be um, stirred down okay then you time it for one minute and hard boil it then you can turn it off oh yes I always add a little bit of butter and that helps with the foaming so that doesn't happen um, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, I'll set the camera over here and you can see me doing this. Let me see. There we are. Okay. Sorry about that guys. You're a little bit crooked here. Okay. Anyways, set the stove on. So, as <clears throat> uh, in this new house, I have an induction stove, so it actually um, is makes things boil quite quickly so you do have to watch um, what you're putting on the stove. Um, I've also so I have ready I have 
uh, my sterilized jars waiting in the canner as well as the lids and so on in a separate one there. So they're waiting for me to put the peach stuff there. here so you can see when I stir it it does not stop so I'm going to set the timer for one minute and keep stirring So as you can see in the peach jam, there's hardly any, if any, any foam. So that little bit of butter helps. So now I'm going to transfer it. I'll put you over here. And you can see what I'm doing over here. <clears throat> so I'm going to add my honey. Hopefully this is enough. That's all I have. In the package directions, it actually gives you the maximum amount of sugar that you can put in, so it can still set for you. So I'll see if this is enough, otherwise I might add some, some brown sugar yet to it. It might taste good too. Only about three. Now, a little trick that my dad always had for apple pies and pies in general, for fruit pies, I'm putting a teeny bit of salt in. Like, I mean, just a teeny little bit. And that tends to bring out the flavor in, in anything. So, um, Okay, now for the taste, taste test. 